Hello, 2016 was a full year of technology, so I thought it best, on the very last day of the year, with hours to spare, to predict the tech trends of next year. The phones of 2016 very much built on the trends of 2015, and I imagine 2017 will do the same thing with 2016. I can imagine the Galaxy S8, in response to the explosion, that was the Note 7's launch. I imagine that the S8 will more than make up for that. I also think that the OnePlus 4 will be a great phone, just like the OnePlus 3T. It'll be cheap and fast, and it'll be the best budget phone on the market. I do not think, as of yet, at least in 2017, I do not think we'll get 4K phones. Possibly with the S8, but I do not think it'll be standard. I think 1440p this year will now be the standard, but I do not think 4K will be the standard yet. Perhaps in 2018 or 2019, but phones are not powerful enough yet and batteries are not big enough. The last thing in the phone category is USB-C. More phones and more computers began to take advantage of USB-C this year, and I think in 2017 and in 2018 that we shall see more phones use USB-C. And maybe, just maybe, someday, we could see an iPhone with USB-C. The next category is television. Televisions will be cheaper and cheaper, just like last year and the year before that and the year before that. 8K, although it's CES in a few weeks, we shall see more 8K TVs. It will not be the standard for many years to come. 4K in televisions is here, but the content has not yet reached the technology. The content is still the major problem that is holding 4K back. The other thing we shall see in television is OLED displays. If you have ever had a Nexus 6P or a phone with an OLED display, you should be very happy about this. I do think we shall see more televisions take advantage of this from different manufacturers, and in addition to this, it should be much cheaper. Although I do not know exactly how much longer until it will become mainstream. And then we have virtual reality. The Oculus Rift is the perfect example of where virtual reality currently is. Computers are not powerful enough, at least most reasonably priced computers, they're not powerful enough to power the Oculus Rift. And in addition, they are much too expensive. There is no real logical justification for acquiring an Oculus Rift or something equivalent to it. I do think that in the next two to three years that we should see many more many more different outlets taking advantage of virtual reality, but I do not think 2017 is the year for that. And then we end this video with Apple. I do think Apple will continue the trend with their laptops. I do think that in 2017, with the MacBook Air, Apple will do the same thing. They will remove all of the ports except one or two USB-C ports. It'll become more expensive and people will become more frustrated. Now here is one part that I do think Apple will keep the same with. That is the iMac. The iMac has been fundamentally the same for many years now. And I do think that Apple will keep their desktop the same way. I do think they will add USB-C ports if they have not already. And I also think that the same fundamental design principle and philosophy with the iMac will stay the same in 2017 and beyond. And then we end with the iPhone 8. The iPhone 8 is a very interesting thing to ponder. I do think that Apple will finally change the design this year. I think the iPhone 7 was an extremely underwhelming phone. People have been waiting and waiting for an iPhone and although it was an ex it was an entirely expected thing to happen, it was it was not revolutionary in the slightest. I'm hoping, and I do think though that 2017 will finally see Apple, and I don't know exactly how much they'll change it, but I do think that Apple will finally, finally, after all of these years, perhaps maybe listen to consumers. In the end, I do not think that 2017 will bring with it new revolutionary technologies or 
I could be more specific, new fields of technology. I really do think that 2017 will continue what 2016 did, which is continue on the trends of 2015. And in 2015, it really did continue on the trends of 2014. But to me, that is what 2017 will bring. And I will end this video with a thank you to all of my subscribers. I have had lots of requests to make videos this year, and it didn't really happen. Um, so I thought on the very last day of the year, I could make a video. That way, no one can say I did not make a video in 2016. Thank you very much, and have a happy new year.